Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to check out XNURBS, which is the surfacing plugin for Rhino. Okay, I recently downloaded the 30 day trial from its website at xnurbs.com. Okay. okay, let's start. <clears throat> okay, on screen I have a uh, part of a uh, model. Let's check out. The surface quality of this uh, piece here. Okay, I'll go to analyze surface zebra. Okay, as you can see, there are obvious discontinuity at this corner. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to uh, firstly use the standard Rhino tools to try to fix this, and then followed by using uh, XNURBS to do the same as well. And after that, we will evaluate whether uh, XNURBS is uh, suitable for this kind of work. Okay, let's start. Okay, I'm going to trim away this area. Okay, as this is a five-sided uh, corner, it is uh, hard for us to use the standard tools that create uh, four side-sided uh, surfaces. Okay, and in this case here, I think I will use a patch because a patch allows for the creation of non four sided surfaces. Okay. I'm going to trim away this area. So let's use patch. Okay, if you have been following my previous tutorials and videos, you know that uh, I will advise against uh, using patch alone because our uh, patch only allows for matching to tangency. And if you need to create uh, surfaces that are continuously smooth, you will need a curvature match. Okay, so. Um, but let's use this as an initial start, okay? So these are the parameters I'm going to use and click OK. Okay, we have created our patch. Okay, let's uh, analyze the surface using Zebra. Okay, you can see over here that the the center portion is uh, quite quite uh smooth however at the corners uh, there are some mismatch as mentioned patch only allows for matching to, to uh, tendency so what I'm going to do next is to trim away the the edges area and use uh, tools that creates uh, four side hider surfaces to fill up this area okay if uh, you need to create a nicely blended um, surfaces you will need to create four side uh surfaces because uh, that is the best uh, topology for for nerves okay so I've already done that because um, it's quite time consuming okay and I don't want to bore the, the audience uh, with uh, this type of work so let me just um, show what I already done okay so I already done this uh, it's not completed yet because I will also want to like roughly uh, explain the processes before okay so as you can see the, the areas around here are created using uh, four sided surfaces okay the four sided surfaces allows for the uh, matching of the edges okay but let's turn on the the zebra okay the 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 surfaces that are initially created by rhino are not necessarily perfect okay and often it entails are uh, fine tweaking the form uh, matching or adjustments of the control points okay 
so uh, this area of work is uh, quite time consuming okay so maybe I'll just do a, 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 a demonstration to illustrate this point here okay so you might want to like you know use things like the move UVM okay together with the zebra to don't do like like fine adjustment so this area of work is like um, very time consuming okay so it might in, uh, involve like uh, selecting a point and then making fine adjustment to see uh, the the result okay so this is a uh, lot of work involved okay so I'm not going to like do the entirety of this because uh, it will take a while to uh, refine this this stuff okay so this is one area of work and the other is actually to create the initial surfaces okay in this case here uh, I'm going to use things like the uh, surface for network okay so Okay, as you can see, the the initial surfaces are not often perfect, and we still need to do like fine fine adjustments. Okay, but uh, generally this is the the type of work that's uh involved. Okay, so you might want to like maybe over here like maybe uh, do a bit of matching. to like no uh, do matching to, to, to find then uh, do the adjustments of the control points and uh, re reiterate the, the process again until uh, it's smoothed up so I'm not going to go go through that because it will take a while okay okay now uh, let's use X nerves okay to create our surface okay so go to delete this away and then use our uh, x nerves okay type x nerves okay so open up x nerves and the okay, x nerves allows for like uh three three levels of con continuity okay contact tangent and curvature okay contact is the uh, same as position so this is like uh, g0 g1 g2 so uh, for our case, I want to set all to curvature, so I'm going to select this, and you notice that if you click on this, the uh, label will appear. Okay, uh, if you have used uh, software like Alias, you will find these are very familiar. Okay, as Alias is the first uh, NURBS modeling program that I have uh, used, uh, this is pleasantly uh, nostalgic for me. Okay, so select all these show preview and you can see that the initial result is uh, pretty good okay. okay also do like fine adjustments okay so I'll say the initial result is actually quite good okay so to wrap up I think XNOPS is a very useful tool for surfacing works Okay, it will help us to model faster, but in my opinion, um, the essential principles for creating continuously matched surfaces is still very important. Okay, because uh, without the understanding of these principles, uh, we will not be able to uh, use uh, x nerves properly okay and also surfacing techniques are also very important because Rhino has a lot of other tools in his arsenal that can allow for the creation of surfaces uh, in various uh, ways okay so in a nutshell I would say x is a uh, useful tool to have 
because you can speed up our processes but the the not knowledge for this type of work is still essential okay with that i come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful to you bye